Alright, what's up DVW fam? We got a very exciting video for you guys today. We're actually in Vietnam right now. No, I'm just kidding. These paintings behind me are actually of Hue, central Vietnam. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna tour Westminster, Little Saigon, Orange County for a Vietnamese food tour. Alright guys, so we're at our first restaurant going to be highlighting Hue food, which is a central area of Vietnam. I've actually been there before. Food there is great, but we got a little taste of Hue here in SoCal. So I got the boom hen, which is basically like a like vermicelli noodles, kind of like a noodle salad. There's some star fruit in here, chicharrones, crispy pork skin, some nuts, and the main part of this is clams, right? Baby clams. Baby, Baby clams, that's what makes this dish amazing. So what do you got? Right now, I have um, bum bò hue, which is a spicy beef noodle soup made with beef shank and beef hog and nice. Vietnamese pork sausages. Mm -hmm. For my non-Vietnamese uh, speaking folks, if you guys notice, there's hue in the name bum bò hue, so this is native to hue, that region of Vietnam, so this is going to be a hitter. What do you have, Desiree? I have the Vietnamese mi wang, which is made of fresh turmeric noodles. And they mm. told me that they made a the noodle fresh here. It also came with banana blossoms, all kind of herbs, not like a salad. Yeah, you also have the yeah, the pork meatloaf, and the, these two giant shrimp. If you guys notice, all these dishes have a lot of veggies and herbs. That's the main distinction of Hue food. Very healthy. And then we got a couple appetizers to share. So a cool thing about this spot is the chef says that she makes their pork in-house so they don't buy it from a store so this is dry dehydrated pork yeah this is the boiled one the boiled, oh, the boiled, boiled one the boiled um pork rinds right and then, yes this one's this, deep this fried is dry. this is dehydrated and then yeah. this one's the dehydrated one so yeah. this so to make the pork rinds in-house they boiled first dehydrated it and then they deep fried it yeah. that is so cool yeah. And then we got some appetizers to share. This is also a Hue hitter right here. This is the ban bèo, right? Ban bèo. Ban bèo. Can you explain to them what ban bèo is? Yeah, so this is made, it's called steam cake. It's made of rice flour. She got the pork rinds on top and shrimps. And she told me that the shrimp, she did not uh, dye the color. It's naturally uh, orange, orange like this. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. Served with the sauce. So how about we grab one each to try out? Yeah. So I like a lot of fish sauce on mine. So you kind of like scoop it out like this. Yeah, this is really fun to eat too. Try it out. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. I'm gonna do one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, I heard, I heard that crunch. I heard that crunch from the left of me. So many textures. The uh, rice cake is really soft, spongy. And then you got the shredded shrimp in there. Really chewy. And then you get a nice crispiness from the pork rinds, crispy pork rinds. Man, I could devour these all day. You know, speaking of pork rinds, how about we try one of their pork rinds right here to show. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, crunchy. Mm-hmm, mm. mm. Perfect amount of crunchiness. It's not too oily too, they said. Everything made in house is dehydrated, then fried. Maybe that's why it's not like super oily, but mm -hmm. ooh, so fun to eat, really airy too. Very crispy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And not, not oily at all. Alright, I'm gonna try my boom hen right here. I'm just gonna go in on this. There's already like a nice glaze of sauce on here. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. How was it? Oh, you got some star fruit in there too. Mm. Mm -hmm. The star fruit gives it a burst of like sweetness, a little bit of sourness. But, ooh, this is like a salad, guys. It's like a bunch of herbs in here, banana leaf, or some nuts. So mm. much texture, yet crunchiness from the herbs, vegetables. Have a nice fragrance coming out of here from all the herbs, and then peanuts are crunchy. The clams are a little bit crunchy too, but a little bit chewy. But like Desiree says, like a little bit salty as well, savory. Oh, and we also got some more pork rinds. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, crunch. Yeah. Yep. So fun to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm, but one thing is that this is very light, refreshing, herby. All right, so it's like a Vietnamese noodle salad. Desiree, how about you try your miguang? 
So this is my first time trying the mi wang. Mm -hmm. There's a little soup that you could pour on here too. Oh yes, she also gave me some uh, pork broth that's also made in house. Pour that on top, and because they make the noodle fresh, uh, it's absorbed of the broth. Ooh. It looks like a really thick noodle, a different a, type of noodle. A different kind, yeah. So that's not vermicelli, that's like mi wang. <laughs> mi wang noodle, yeah. Mm. So good, so chewy. Absorb all the flavor from the broth and the herb, it just smells amazing. I love the aroma. Ooh, that soup looks really savory. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a lot of spices in there. It's like dark red. I like mine with banana blossom and lots and lots of that cheese. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. Desiree looks like she's really enjoying that mi wang right there. Ooh. Yeah. You can break oh. up the cracker too. Yeah, there's mm. rice crackers on here, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. You guys hear that? <laughs> Desiree made that sound so good, I gotta grab one. Here you go, Lynn. You should grab one too. Thank you. Mm. Mm. It's a very crunchy dish. Mm -hmm. You notice that the shrimp, that's the shell on shrimp, so then be more crunchy. See. Some fresh shrimp with the shell still sure attached. I like to eat it with the shells. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more calcium. <laughs> How about the overall flavor of like the soup and the noodles? It's like sweet, spicy, tangy. What's the flavor of it? Savory. Savory? Yeah, a bit of, um, has a, a pork broth flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, a hint of sweetness and mint, all kind of mint. So. Oh yeah, I see the mm. mints on there. Yeah. yeah. When? You have a tough task ahead of you. This is oh, one no, of the no, main no. Hue dishes right here, the Bung Bao Hue right here. <laughs> right. One of my favorite dishes actually. I love Vietnamese food. Yes, yeah, it's beef noodle soup, but there is pork in it. So this is um, a cross section of a pork feet. Ooh. So first I would like to add some veggies. So this um, banana possum, shredded cabbage, bean sprouts. Ooh. Lynn likes her uh, veggies. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, here's the pork hock. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mm. get all in that bone. Wow, <laughs> it just melts in your mouth mm -hmm. and just fall yeah. off from the bone. Very tender. Yeah, I noticed Lynn didn't have to put too much effort into <laughs> biting that poor cock right mm -hmm. there. It just fell apart. Yeah, yeah the skin and everything, tendon, connective I love tissue. The tendon pieces. All the meats are cooked with pineapple to tenderize the meat. Ooh. So you get some sweetness from the pineapple also. Nice. So it's a salty, spicy, and sweet. Mm. Speaking about spicy, food, hue, I would say hue, people eat very spicy, spicy food. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They always add a lot so, of peppers. So, so off, the, like, off the cities in Vietnam, I would say hue food is the most spiciest. Oh, nice. It's the yeah. spiciest, yeah. Mm. Let your server know how spicy you want your food. So I see a big piece oh, of yeah. um, pork. pork blood. Pork blood, I personally don't prefer that, but I want to see Lynn oh, take that down. I love this. Let's see, look at that. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> the texture is like tofu. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, very savory, you can get the iron taste. Tastes like pork blood. <laughs> some people like it, some people don't. Yeah, you love it, you hate it. <laughs> yeah. It's like condensed pork blood, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here I am trying the um, clams and noodles. Come with so much veggies. It tastes so good, I love the aroma. Take you like. It feels like you're e I'm eating a forest sometime from all the veggie and the plant. <laughs> when you're eating Hawaii food? When I'm eating Hawaii food, yeah. Oh, so after our Hawaii meal, they also have specialty Vietnamese drinks here. What are these, Lynn? These are milky mung bean pandan drinks. Ooh, I mm. love pandan. I love the smell already. Mm. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Ooh. It's like thick, milky. This double has doubles as like a dessert too, as well as a drink. It has that mung bean, sweet beans, and like mm -hmm. pandan flavor. It's really good. If you are a bean lover, get this. Mm, it's good. Mm. You know like those desserts that they give you at the end of like a Chinese restaurant, like mm -hmm. on the house? Mm -hmm. It's like that blended up into yeah. a drink. It's like a blended jia dessert. Yeah, like a jia. Mm -hmm. Like a smoothie jia. It's really refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. That is our Hue spread here. Like I said, love Hue food, love Vietnamese food. So that's the first part of our tour. And we got all parts of Vietnam to go to. So yeah, stay tuned for the rest of this Vietnamese food tour. I'm gonna finish this up and uh, show you guys more Vietnamese food. Cheers. Cheers. Hue ơi. <laughs>
You know you're at an Asian place when there's this little cat greeting you right here. So we're starting at this pho restaurant for KT and they have amazing drinks. We got um, Thai tea, the taro smoothie, and this is your favorite. Yes, sparkling passion fruit. All right, cheers guys. <laughs> cheers. We're gonna try the pho here at pho KT. So they have fresh pho noodles in here. So if you guys haven't seen the fresh noodles before, they're kind of in like rectangular, thin rectangular pieces rather than like the cylinder noodles. So this is an oxtail. You know, not all pho place has oxtails. Nice meaty oxtail right here. And a beef rib right here. Ooh, look at this. Wow, you see that right there? Oh, I'm just gonna take a big bite of this right here. Mmm, nice and meaty. Mmm. Look at that. Some nice tendon on it. Nice and chewy. I like that. That's a nice meaty flavor to go along with your pho. Extra protein right here. Ooh. Nice comforting broth for this cold day. It is pretty cold right now, so I'll say it's a very soupy, um, very light broth. Ooh, but I love oxtails. One of my favorite. I love all of the above and oxtail. Let's try this out. Mmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, I love oxo. This one's nice and meaty, but it's also a thin layer of fat right there. It's oxo, so it has to be some fat. Very great to pair with this fresh noodle and pho broth. I say it's like a special pho place because, you know, if you guys are familiar with pho, Vietnamese soup, broth, and noodles, there's like the rare meat, cooked thin. Um, was it brisket? But not all places serve oxtail, so if a place has oxtail, ooh, that's a big plus right there. Mm. Overall, pretty good pho. Like I said, the main thing about this is all the meat in there, making the muscles grow. All protein. All right, and we got another entree here as well, the pho up chow. Stir-fried pho noodles, right, Lynn? Correct. All right, really what do, good. We, what do we got here? Shrimp, pork, and assorted veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, bok choy. Great wow. post-workout meal right here. They have protein, veggies. Let's mm -hmm. try it out, shall we? Yeah. Let's try the noodles first. So yeah. they're actually pan-fried. Look at this. Try, I'm gonna try a Get big it? piece of this. Wow. Cheers. Mm, soft, bouncy. Has a smoky flavor from the wok. I'll say it's uh, kind of spongy. It's like crispiness on the mm -hmm. outside from the pan sear. But yeah, it's like the pho in our broth, but mm -hmm. did you guys know you could get it pan fried, stir fried right here with a bunch of veggies. So this is kind of like, it is, does have a gravy, but I'd call this like a, a dry noodle because there's not soup on it. Ooh. Mm. This might be new to some of you guys, but this is a Vietnamese staple stir fried noodles. You can have them anytime. I'll say it's kind of like a spring summer dish. It's great. One of my uh, favorite items. The meat, veggies, just takes on all the flavors of the sauce. Mm -hmm. It's great though. All it right. comes with really healthy veg veggies, so you want to get more veggies in your diet? This is perfect. And Lynn loves her veggies. We've been oh, to yeah. a couple restaurants, hot pot spots. She always loads it with veggies. She's healthy right there. <laughs> like a taro smoothie. Mmm, surprisingly it's pretty, pretty good. Nice, milky, slushy, with a hint of taro. Love taro. Alright guys, if you guys notice, can't have a Vietnamese food tour and going to all these nice restaurants. Dressing all crusty, so we got the Cuts Sage Henley right here. If you guys want to drip like DVW, it's DVW10 to get 10% off of your Cuts gear. I'm also wearing their Cuts jogger right here too, so very comfortable walking around the city. Just going through all these restaurants in comfort and style. So yeah guys, DVW10, link in the description. All right guys, so it's not a food tour without dessert. We're at our third spot, our next spot called Tati's. It is a Vietnamese coffee shop, dessert spot, boba, 
They have snacks too. One of their specialty items is their Vietnamese coffee egg pudding right here and they brew their own Vietnamese coffee and pour it straight from Vietnam, right? Called Vi Tung. They've been roasting their own coffee beans for over 42 years, right? Since the 1980s. Since the 1980s, yeah. yeah. So this is a true Vietnamese coffee shop experience. But yeah, before we get to our drinks, let's get some, uh, let's get our snack on. So we got some popcorn chicken, fries, and fish balls. How about um, we grab one of the fish balls each, guys? I'm gonna be a savage and use my fingers. Sorry, guys. Cheers. Mmm. It pop in your mouth. A bunch of juices just pop into my mouth and chew into it. Mmm. Mm. It was chewy. Mm -hmm. oh, caviar? Mm -hmm. oh, that's what it was, the juices. It's fish, it's fish roll. Yeah, fish roll. It just popped in your mouth. So good. And uh, Lynn was saying that it looks really nice in here, classy. There's a bunch of decorations. It is about to be Lunar New Year, so it's the perfect time for this Vietnamese food tour video. Vietnamese Chinese New Year. And uh, apparently it's going to be the year of the cat in Vietnamese New Year's. But uh, I was confused because I usually go f with the Chinese calendar and there's no cat, it's usually the rabbit, right? Lynn is a year of the cat. Mm -hmm. Let's try some popcorn chicken. The perfect boba snack right here. Mm. It's a little bit different from Taiwanese. Popcorn chicken is chunkier, yeah. bigger. The flavor is a little bit different. Yeah, it's it comes with this dipping fish sauce. It's like sweet and sour fish sauce, mm -hmm. yeah. How do you like it? Love it, juicy, crunchy. But the fish sauce flavor, so flavorful, so mm. good. All right, guys. So uh, they do specialize in their drinks here. Let's grab one. This one caught my eye. The Vietnamese egg pudding. You it's, um, Vietnamese cup of egg foam. Egg mm. foam. So they did use their own Li Tung coffee for this. I like the seasoning on these fries. Mm. So we got more drinks. More drinks coming. All right, guys. So we're all gonna take our pick. This is the Vietnamese coffee with their own Vi Tung coffee beans. So with egg foam, ooh, let's try this. Some cacao powder on top. And which one do you got? I got the Taiwanese oolong with milk. And there's some um, jelly, coffee jelly. Some uh, jelly at the oh, bottom, nice. yeah. So what do you got here, Lynn? This is Japanese green tea with lychee, whole lychee. On the bottom. All right, cheers, guys. Oh, cheers. Be careful. <laughs> ooh, it's a... Uh, Thick, creamy, has a little dark taste to it, but there's condensed milk in here, right? Condensed milk and black coffee. That's the thing about Vietnamese coffee. It's really sweet and milky, love it. And if you guys don't like it too sweet, you could adjust all your sweetness levels too with the ice as well. But I would say that, you know, mine just turned out perfect. It's just at the level that I like. But with, uh, uh, you know, this boba shop, you have the option to adjust to whatever sweetness level that you like. They are very accommodating. Awesome, how's your drink? Oh, I love it. Very refreshing. I love lychee. Yeah, there's fresh lychee in there yeah, too. Yeah, right? so it's fruity. Perfect. Oh, let me taste some of the egg foam right here. Mmm, <laughs> nice, sweet, thick. Oh, I, if I mix it in, it will make it a little bit sweeter, but it's a really nice touch. That just mm. looks so good, Dan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, I'm it's jealous. A, <laughs> oh, I know what it reminds me of. It's super thick. It kind of reminds me of like a creme brulee with like the mm. vanilla bean cream. Oh, it's really good. I yeah. love the fact they use like real fruit and real coffee and real tea, tea leaf like you see in the video, the way they craft it. They use real products. Um, nothing was processed or they didn't even use powder. I think mm. that is so cool. I love natural ingredients, guys. Yeah. And the vibes in here is dope too. It's like a nice cozy little coffee shop. It's, it's kind of bustin' right now. There's a bunch of people in here Friday night. So you get some studying in. Nice date spot, relaxed vibes with some uh, drinks and snacks. Let's move on to our next drinks. Vietnamese coffee is very addicting. It's like crack. It, it'll keep me up all day oh, yeah. or all night. Vietnamese uh. coffee is really strong. All right, so we got our second round of drinks. I got the peach lemongrass orange tea. So it's kind of like a... Vietnamese iced tea right here. Fruit tea is one of their top sellers. Has a lot of ingredients in here. Kind of looks like an orange mojito with this mint on it right here. And what do you have? This one looks beautiful. This is ube latte. It has ube syrup, milk, coffee, and ube foam on top. Basically a whole ube in like a drink format. <laughs> oh, this looks like Christmas right here. Yeah. This looks is beautiful. So Christmas -y. So I got house-made strawberry jams at the bottom. And then your choice of milk. Got the matcha. 
and then I got this cheesecake foam right on top. It's so beautiful. Wow. Can't wait. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Salud. Salud. <laughs> Oh, I taste that peach right away. It's a little bit minty. Oh, that must be the peach lemongrass, right? Or the lemongrass in there. A little bit like, it's like tea, like minty, a lot. Has a herb type fragrance to it. Ooh, this would be a really bomb alcoholic beverage. That's all I'm gonna say. If there was alcohol in here, it would be amazing. It still is good, but ooh. This reminds me of my childhood drink. You know, growing up, I love, uh, you know, quick strawberry and milk. Oh, okay. And I would drink that in the morning. This is what it reminds me of, but by more... Elevated. Ele ele elevated. <laughs> a fancy strawberry milk tea with yeah. matcha. I want you to take a piece of that cheese foam. I got a spoon because I like to be classy a little bit. Alright, let's see. Mmm. <laughs> it's so soft. Like you feel like cake. cloud in your mm. mouth with a hint of sweetness and salt to Ooh. balance out the sweetness. This is so good. Well, I'm excited to see oh, how yeah. that tastes. How does that taste? So, I'm going to taste the ube foam. Mm. It's very light. It tastes like the ube flavor. and a little salty and sweet at the Ooh. same time, yeah. Salty and sweet. And also milky. <laughs> All right, so I got the bonus right here. This is one of their popular drinks. It's like a yaou, right? It's like a yogurt drink into a drink. Let me see you drinking that. Shake it up. Shake, shake it up? It. Okay. Yeah. So this is the passion fruit yaou flavor. Oh. Yaou is basically Vietnamese yogurt. It's basically it's like saying yogurt with the accent. <laughs> yaou. Yaou. I used to love yaou as a kid. So now I've never had it in like a drink format though. Yeah, so you could drink it just like this or you could pour it into ice, but I'm gonna take it this like this. Fresh yogurt drink. I used to buy these at the supermarket, but it's oh. imported. But now they actually offer something that's freshly crafted. So it's made in the house, right? Yeah. Made in the house. Made in the house. Wow. Ooh, it's oh. so thick and creamy. Are you gonna share? Oh. Dan, not I'm not share. gonna share. Not this share. one is mine. Yeah, they have different flavors. <laughs> Ooh, it's so thick and milky. It's basically like drinking yeah, Ooh, like yogurt. It's just mm -hmm. really thick, milky. Mm. So good. Not sharing. It's not too sweet either. Not too sugary. So I was trying to make Desiree get a milk mustache from her cream foam, but I, I ended up with the with the yogurt. The yeah, <laughs> the yaou yeah, um, yeah, mustache. Um, mustache. <laughs> Not hating though, it's delicious. So you do have a bunch of pastries here too, if you guys want like cheesecakes, um, there's like coffee cakes, croissants with your tea and coffee. So like I said, it's like a Vietnamese coffee shop. You can also buy the coffee here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, they do sell coffee like Starbucks, right? They yeah. Do coffee here. Vietnamese, Vietnamese coffee, coffee bean. Coffee. Vietnamese Thanks. style. All right, guys, so we have a great deal for you guys, too. Um, so if you guys want to visit Tati's, you guys will get a free milk tea if you guys mention this YouTube video, Dan vs. The World DVW. You'll get free milk tea till the end of March. So with purchase, of course, um, you get free milk tea with any purchase. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys head down to Tati's for some yeah. drinks. Bring your, bring your friends and your family. Salud. All right, guys, so they got something very unique here. They're Vietnamese breadsticks, one of their most popular snacks. So there's there's chabom in here, shredded pork floss. So there's a liver in here and mayo and chili. So I'm gonna take a bite of this. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Ooh, this is good. It's a mouthful. The bread is really spongy, chewy. It's like a mini baguette. It's very really cute. And, um, I taste the spice first, a little bit spicy. And then you get like the pate and the chapalm in here. Ooh, it's really good. Savory, a little snack. All right, guys, make sure you guys check out Desiree. She makes a bunch of food content all over OC, Southern California, LA too. And Lynn, I'll put all their links down below and all these restaurants, I'll put all the links down below as well. So make sure you guys check it out. Great time to check out Vietnamese food during the Lunar New Year. So you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below some suggestions for us and subscribe for more DVW food vlogs. Deuces.